Chris, one of the things you uh, remarked about uh, was the turnovers and, and, and your keys to the game. I think another key that uh, could, uh, well, it will come into play is the, the defense. And uh, as we look at the conference standings, uh, defensively, North has a pretty good ranking in number four. South is down at number seven, but I think uh, maybe even the greater disparity is in the offensive side. Uh, North ranks last in the conference by a huge margin on offense, which uh, you would think would bode well for South's defense. Yes, it does. And uh, the only catch I have about, you know, South's a little higher on offense is, you know, there's no Ray Smith there. As you see the uh, North High Raiders being introduced in their last uh, game as seniors here. So we'll have to wait and see, but you're right. I think defense is something special. Hey, Todd. Todd Reineking, longtime uh, player here from North. He now coaches at Homestead, who's got the number one ranked team in the state. Um, but I was just thinking a little bit about, uh, you know, as you said, with the turnovers and things like that, I think that's going to be key. Defensive play is uh, really going to be big, but uh, I think something we're going to see for South is a lot of Anthony Hoyting tonight. I think he's going to be carrying the ball and playing a lot of defense. You know, speaking and of Anthony, one thing that uh, you know we noticed a couple times we've been here is uh, Nick Jones wasn't used much uh, running the ball in the first half of the two games we did, and then he came out like gangbusters in the second half and uh, helped to change the complexion of the game for North. It'll be <laughs> interesting to see if they use him a little more frequently in the first half. And there you see him, number 32. Yeah. Well, as we sit here, I'm watching a lot of teams play last night, Marty. I know Homestead played. I know I saw Fond du Lac coach. I see Sun Prairie guys here. Maybe South Bill's Milwaukee here. guys are here. Uh, I'll tell you what. You know what they should do is just call TV8 and get all the games. But oh, really? <laughs> they uh, they want to see the playoffs will come out tomorrow, uh, Friday uh, afternoon. They just I think I've mentioned this before. They take the set, the all the enrollments of all the teams that are over 500 seven divisions and they start dividing them up by uh, 32s I believe and the top 32 highest enrollment kids will play division one the next 32 etc all the way down to division seven those which I think is a lot that those are the teams that qualify for the playoffs right yeah and uh, I still think seven divisions a lot of divisions um, let's make everybody happy that's right I I was looking at one uh, division it's like 200 to 287 in enrollment so 80 disparity but yet division one you have a school of 14 or 1500 has to take on schools with 2600 that's 1100 different yeah really so there you see uh david thompson's mom and hummer's mom there and hummer's sister yep <laughs> they're excited over here at north uh, getting, oh, I know my thought was, Marty, about the defense, North's defense. They, before last week, they hadn't allowed a touchdown in like three games, correct? Right. Yeah. So uh, Got lit up a little bit by Notre Dame, but uh, Notre Dame's got a good outfit. <laughs> and uh, the, they, they also... They're playing for the conference championship yeah, tonight. Looking at the top of the offensive stats and defensive stats, we see Notre Dame and Manitowoc is right there. Thanks to Bill Richards who's going to be retiring as the FRVC uh, commissioner after this year with the new... Yeah, he's, yeah I, go ahead. You're going to... I was just going to say with the new conference coming in. New alignment, yeah. That's all I was going to say. He's leaving with the... as the old alignment uh, is done. Well, you know, I talked to a lot of people that said, boy, wouldn't it be exciting if the North-South game meant something, and it sure does mm -hmm. tonight. Mm -hmm. We're, I'm lucky to be here, and I've been excited about this since uh, last Friday. Not a long kick. Taken at about the 26-yard line, right up the middle. I think it was Matt Rosey. Number 35, Matt Rosey, on the return. And first and 10 for North. Ball on the 43-yard line. Been a few weeks since we've seen uh, South play, so uh, I got some new guys in there. With some of their injuries and stuff. We'll try to pick up some of those guys. A few more guys playing both ways, I would suspect. This is your first time watching North play. North is extremely small, but uh, very efficient. Marifino with uh, Ragoza in motion, hand up right up the middle. Nick Jones on the carry takes it up over the 45. Well, Nick Jones is their horse. Nick Jones is the guy they'll go to carry the ball, but you'll see a bunch of different guys carrying the ball tonight. Cesar Ragoz will be number one. David Thompson, number eight. Uh, Nate Hummage will get a carrier two in there. Pick up a three on the play. It's a second down and seven. 
Eric Seafell, number 22, is the right end. Full house backfield. Inside handoff. Jones pounding forward. He's going to be close to a first down. He could hit a wall of people at about the 50 and then lunge forward for a few more. Well, Nick Jones, a couple weeks ago, the last couple times we've seen him, boy, he's had some big second halves, but we're going to get him started right here and now. As far as uh, the uh, coaching staff tonight, uh, South has kind of basically split it up. Chris Korf, who's been running the offense, he'll take care of that. And Mike Rank and Jamie Berlin are kind of going to be doing the defense together. Um, so it's basically the offensive guys are taking care of the offense and the defensive guys are there. And uh, Rolsey is the deep back in this formation and Marafino keeps it and lunges forward to about the 45 yard line. It'll be a first down for North. Here you see coach Steve Brixen made some trips to the playoffs with Mayville trying to get his Golden Raiders there for the first time since I believe 98. Was the last time they went 98 or 99 I think it was first and 10 north at the 45 yard line splitting out is Hallbach number 87 and off Ragoza shows some good moves battling through the south defense and gets down inside the 35 for a first down for north Ragoza looking pretty shifty on that and he does it with his feet he's quick He's kind of like the speed back for the uh, Golden Raiders. 11 yard pickup, it's first and 10 north. Ball spotted on the 34 yard line. Well, as we uh, watch this first series for north, the uh, offensive line is uh, certainly controlling the line of scrimmage. Fake handoff, give it to the second back, Ragoza, and he lunges forward. Pretty good defense played by South on that time. Lancer kind of in the middle of the action. Yeah, I think you're right, Marty. Andy Lancer got his paw in there. Also uh, in there was uh, Anthony Hoytink. He's second down and eight. That won't be the last time we mention his name. <laughs> That's for sure. Thompson in motion, fake to him. Give it to the inside. Thompson did get it. My bad. Thought they gave it to the inside uh, runner, but Thompson got it down to the 30. Here comes another back, Ian Andrews in. Because North plays so many guys both ways, one thing they do is they interchange their running backs in so they take a couple plays off and because they do a lot of their guys play on defense as well I think coach Brixton does a nice job of you know keeping those guys well rested but you know having them out there when they need them give off to Jones he slips through the line of scrimmage he's going to be short of the first down gets it down to about the 26 yard line well looks to me our first uh, big play of the ball game Marty fourth and about two Wow, he didn't get a good spot at all. No. Almost like two and a half. Twenty-seven yard line. Marafino barks out the signals. Second back through is Jones. He's lunging forward. He's gonna be close. They're signaling timeout. I think he did get the first down. Yeah, either that or a measurement. But uh, yes, yeah, second effort by Jones. Working over that right side there. They do mark it first and 10. Ball spotted on about the 27 yard line, I believe it is, or is it the 28? Yeah, 23, ben, pardon me. Ben Chambers working over there. Well, they're getting Jones in at the right time. You mentioned about switching the backs, and uh, they got him at the in at the key time. Quick pitch out to Ragoza. Slips by one tackler, slips by another almost and gets it down near the 10 yard line. Good shifty move by Cesar Ragoza. Real shifty uh, move there, I like that play. You had two backs, either one could have got the sweep there. South's gotta be responsible for both of them there and uh, Ragoza picked it and scooted forward. 
timeout. I believe they're going to be measuring to see if it's a first down or not. That's one thing we haven't seen North do a lot of is do that quick pitch to the outside and try to beat the defense out there. And uh, South is not as quick as they've been in the past defensively, and uh, that might not be a bad move. Mr. Wright, you had a great opportunity to get, get one right for once. <laughs> well, I let Brian with the camera do the work instead. I go to a 10-yard pickup. Now, Ragoza so far tonight, Chris, has an 11-yarder and a 10-yarder. Something interesting about Sheboygan North, too. They have nobody ranked in the top of their rushing. Uh, <laughs> just goes to show, you know, how many different kids carry the ball. Ian Andrews on the wing right. South looking to blitz, and I think they uh, jumped offside, Chris. Either that or they forced uh, North to, into an illegal motion. Well, they're, looks like they're gonna step it towards, well, the official is pointing <laughs> towards the other way, but uh, I'm saying to walk it off, but uh, he's gotta turn around as he does. And unfortunately for South, something that South had a lot of trouble with this year too is oh. penalties, untimely penalties early in the season stop things and here inside the uh, 15 yard line you don't want to have those type of penalties either. Okay it's going to be first and five the ball is spotted on the eight yard line. North is uh, taking it right down the field everything on the ground. They've been successful. It's Ragoza and Jones in the backfield. Thompson is the wing right. Second back through is Ragoza gets a great block and he's into the end zone touchdown. Wow. Let's get the number of that block, of that uh, player who threw the block, Chris, because that was a dandy. Yeah, I think it was Ryan Hamilton, number 70. Number 51, Ben Chambers. Good kick out blocks. Here, Here you're going to watch it. Yep, it's a pulling. Boom. Yep. Pulling guard or tackle. Boy, that was a dandy. Dandy block. In the kick is uh, Travis Vandewater. Wow, what a drive. Started on their 43 and marched right down just on the ground. 57 yards, actually 52 uh, with the five yard penalty. Good snap and set. Kick is blocked. Oh, they came right up the middle, Chris. Well, with uh, 6.41 remaining in the first quarter, North on top, six to nothing. Good snap. Let's pretend you own an apartment building and I want to rent from you. I make a good salary, have a good credit history. Would you rent your place to me? How about now? Do you still like me? What if I have an accent or a disability? What if I'm a single parent? Would you steer me away? Would you close the door? Would you? The Fair Housing Act protects your right to live where you want. If you think you've been discriminated against, call us. Back at North High, where the Raiders have marched 57 yards in 10 plays, everything on the ground, and every single running play, Chris, was positive yardage. Wow. About the best thing you can say about that drive is uh, South uh, just stuffed them on the extra point, though. Went right up the middle and blocked uh, Vandewater's kick. Vandewater's kick is taken by Brunette on 20, and he's around the corner before he's hit and dropped. Outside the 35. Oh, good for field position for South, and here comes number seven, Taylor Schwartz, senior quarterback, second in the league in passing with 589 yards, 57 for 107 in conference play, five touchdown passes, and uh, something we've seen him do towards the second half of the year is running the ball. Hey, and I was walking into the park tonight, and. Uh, Travis Brunette's mom says hi. 
because you made that comment about if you'd have been 6-1 instead of 5 10 you'd have caught a pass. And I said, well, that was Chris, not me. <laughs> she says hi. Hand off to Hoyting, trying to get to the corner. We might have a penalty on a face mask, but no flag is thrown. Stop is made by Mike Greinke. Mike Greinke on the outside there. Here you see a good burst there by Anthony Hoytink, number 28, eight, taking over for Ray Smith. Ray was so key the last couple of years, and uh, definitely missing him. Pick up a one on the play, makes it second down and nine. South does have a bunch of kids leading their league though and receiving as well. We'll go over those after this play here, Marty. Three wide receivers off to the right. Schwartz ducks under center, looking, fires it out. As Lancer, there's a guy we haven't called his name a whole lot on catching passes, but boy, he's a big target. Yeah, and that's uh, just conference catch number 13 for him. Zach Duquette actually leads the uh, conference in uh, catches with 32. Lancer, I believe, is fifth, and Burnett is sixth with 12. Now, you know, when you see those numbers, there's Ray Smith, and what a bummer for him, and best of luck on your rehab, and next season, you got another year. It's, it's a one positive thing for you, Ray. You got another year to come back and get ready and be stronger. He's somebody who can definitely play in college. Schwartz on a quick out. That's passed backwards to a Lancer. Look like Lancer is finally knocked out of bounds. Over the 45, it's going to be a first down for South. Well, hang on, Marty. There's a flag down. There might be a hold. There might be a hold. I'll tell you what, South's been doing that a lot, too. That little swing pass and very successful. That time they used Lancer there. And, yeah, again, something that's cost South so many times this year is that penalty. And there's a hold downfield. That's their second penalty of the night. But that's, that's a big gonna, one. Oh, yeah. You're they had a third and... And five, you know, and they got the first down by a bundle, and now all of a sudden you're looking at about a third and 15. No, not quite, about a third and 11. Yeah, spot foul. But something that just seems to be catching South this year is the penalty bug, the injury bug. You see Taylor Schwartz. He's gonna play some baseball next year, I think, in college. Think so. <laughs> I was going to think next year. Around spring? This, this spring. He'll be playing some baseball for sure. Yeah, he'll be playing for South. Three wide receivers off to the right. Hoytink, the lone setback. They're all big targets. Down the field. Brunette uh, on a good attempt, but couldn't come up with the catch. And it goes as an incompletion, and it'll be fourth down. Well, you got Mertz and Lancer and Duquette. Brunette out there. You have three. Four big kids out there running target. It's going to be tough for the secondary for North. That time it was just thrown a little bit too high. And unfortunately for South, because of the penalty, they're going to be forced to punt the ball. And I wonder who's punting. <laughs> Wait, then. He may never step off the field tonight. And he wants to be on the field. Seafelt back, waving for a fair catch and makes it at about the 36. Now it reminds me back when I was uh, in high school, my sophomore year playing football, we had a guy on our team, Artie Socek. Oh, the guy was tough for nails. I think for a couple of games, he never stepped off the field either. He was just on everything. And he was so valuable to the ball club. Hey, there's Dick Oldrich. He's a longtime coach here. And there's Gary Oldrich, who works now with the youth program. Artie was the kind of guy when we'd have a rainy day, we would come up for practice, he'd find a puddle and, ro and roll in it. Literally, I'm not kidding. <laughs> He's ready for practice. That was how he loosened up. <laughs> All righty, first and 10 north on the 36. Inside handoff. Jones struggles forward to about the 38 or 39. Not much. Looking across the field, Marty, the uh, new bleachers over there are all full, nice nice uh, addition to... Uh, oh, that's about five times as many yep. bleachers as they had before. And uh, they're all used and used to be, you know, they go along the sides. Now with the bleachers, there's a little bit more area here for people to sit. And Second down and seven. Wide receivers left and right. Andrews wide to the right. Inside handoff to Ragoza. He's stacked right at the line of scrimmage. Actually loses a yard. 
the defense played by South that time. That time they got penetration. Yeah, I think it was John Bruder there that stuffed that middle up there. That'll be interesting to see if North does go to the air. They've done everything on the ground so far. There's 355 and counting North on top, six to nothing. We're in the first quarter. Well, Eric Seafeld, number 22, has been a weapon for him this year out of the backfield. Let's see if they go to him. Right now they have a tight formation. Too much time. And too much time. Yes, sir. Penalty on North. That's their first of the night. It'll be uh, third down and 13. Well, as we mentioned in the opener, this is game number 70. They're tied 33, 33, and 3. But another stat that uh, Andy gave us, what both teams are separated only by 1.3 points per game. For the entire 69 <laughs> games. <laughs> that would mean this is probably going to be a close one. <laughs> That's what they're saying. There's Jamie Berlin there. He's He and uh, Mike Rank are running the defense. He's the guy in the black hat. Fake handoff for Goza back, looking for the screen. Gets it out to Jones, and he's hit and dropped. Oh, boy. Nice tackle. I got to be honest with you, Marty. I thought South saw there was going to be a screen, and all of a sudden they, they like, went off of Jones, and they all went towards uh, the quarterback, Marifino, and next thing you know, he was wide open. Unfortunately for uh, North, they didn't hold their block, and South made the big stuff there, but it could have been a big play. I thought they had that screen red. But again, it was not much of a gainer anyway. So, oh, a bad snap. Kick is away. Takes a good bounce. Picked up by John Kabai, and then he's knocked down at about the 30-yard line. Two lucky breaks there. First on north side, they bobble the snap, and on rushing uh, Red Wings are coming. And then you're right, a, a mishandled uh, return there. Both teams lucky to not turn over the ball in, in uh, their own territory there. Meanwhile, it all just came for nothing. <laughs> really? First down and 10. South has it on the 31 yard line. Goodbye, a wide receiver out here on the left. Taylor Schwartz on a keeper gets it up to about the 34. Marking it uh, on the 35, so it's a pickup of four. Taylor's first carry of the night. Ooh, wrestle down. Taylor again on a keeper, gets it out over the 35, only to about the 36. Was that uh, Thompson making the stop, no, Chris? No, that was, uh, come on, Buckner. Good play there. He's been playing better the last couple of weeks. Makes an impact. Buckner, a senior, 6'1", 180. Not a lot of 200 pounders over on that south, or excuse me, north side. South, on the other hand, has got some big boys up front. Thompson looking to blitz. Couldn't get his hand above all. We got a wide open field. For the receiver for South, that was uh, Zach Duquette. Now as Duquette actually was out on the wide receiver spot a couple plays before, I think I called to buy. Well, Brunette made the key block to spring that one loose and get a first down for the Red Wings. Like I said, they've been doing this play and it seems to be working for them. We saw it a couple weeks ago to, to their success. And again, this time it carried, got the first down without a hold. Nine yard pickup, first and 10 south on the 45. Fake handoff, Taylor keeps it, and gets it just a yard over the 45 to about the 46. The defense by North. One minute and 20 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Brunette, 
Wide left. I believe that's Duquette out on the other side. Second back through is Hoytink. North uh, stacks him up at about the 48, 49 yard line. Thought he was gonna get a pretty good runoff there, Marty, but uh, you're right, the Raiders, which they've been doing the last couple weeks, swarmed in there. And just a short gainer for the Red Wings. Well, it's only Anthony's second carry of the night. It's uh, third down and six. We mentioned this before, a couple other North games we did, they really swarmed to the ball on defense. They are small, but uh, they use their quickness well. Taylor dropping back, has his receiver deep, Brunette, and he can't make the catch. He was open, pass was a little bit off the mark. While well, Nate Homage bit on that uh, play they've been running, Duquette ran a nice little fake. And uh, Brunette just ran right by Hummage, and Hummage shaking his head. He knows better than that. <laughs> you know what uh, Duquette's fake looked like to me? Reminded me of Brett Favre. Oh. You know, he hands off and he runs back like he's throwing a pass. Yeah, and uh, they have they set up north, and it worked with just a tad overthrown there. That could have been an easy six points there. Whiting punting. Seafelt the deep back for north. Good snap. Good snap by... Uh, Brent Jacobs, number 34. He's been doing the long snapping all, all season for uh, the varsity, Chris. He's uh, a sophomore, a long snapper. He should have a nice career for That's the Red right. Wings. Best way to make your NFL career, become a long snapper. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Rob Davis for the Packers? He's been there forever. What do you do? Well, I snap. That's all he does. What do you do in practice? I snap. <laughs> snap, hit people, and run down the field on punts. First and 10 on the 28, 10 seconds left in the first quarter. Clock stopped on the change of possession. Second back through, Ragoza trying to get the corner and stacked up right at about the line of scrimmage. Good pursuit that time by the south side. And that's the end of the first quarter with North on top, six to nothing. We'll be right back. I pay taxes. I pay rent. I pay health club dues. I make car payments. We all have to pay for what we want. It's fair. Cable companies pay to deliver TV services, but phone companies dig up our streets and use our public property, yet don't want to pay. Congress is considering legislation that would give phone companies control of our public property. Call Congress now to stop legislation that will eliminate local control. How do you convince a 14-year-old girl that hair doesn't matter? When the diagnosis is childhood cancer, where can parents turn? CureSearch.org can help. It's run by doctors and scientists whose research has led to an overall cure rate of 78%. You're not as alone as you feel. Gain on that uh, play by run by Ragoza. Tell you what, the uh, initial drive by North marched down the field to score, but since then it's kind of just been going back and forth. Yeah, a lot uh, of body blows. Yeah, now it's uh, well, it's almost uh, first back through. Jones gets up near the 30. Boy, I just thought South was offside there. Yeah, it looked like they jumped early. That's the North sidelines also barking at the officials. Not a lot of areas to run now, and this is where turnovers might come into play here. A little miscues. Nick Jones led all, or pardon me, Cesar Ragoza led all rushers with 31 yards on five carries. Third down and seven, ball spotted on the 30 yard line. Six to nothing north. We just started action in the second quarter. Inside handoff. Thompson stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. It's going to be fourth down. Hoyt, Hoyt Tank in there. Kyle Reuter in there. That the was uh, David South Thompson. defense is uh, stifling that there. Last time there was a misplay on the snap. Hopefully this one will be better. He 
Here they come. They might get him yet tonight. Not a very good punt. Thank goodness it got a little bit of a north roll. Otherwise, that might have been, uh, that was extremely short the way it was. But you're right, South coming right up the middle. Yeah, and they were the close last time. And, you know, something I've seen all year is, you know, there's been a lot of teams. I know the first game of the year, I think I was here way back when it was warmer. They uh, <laughs> they did get a, block, a punt blocked. When you didn't have to wear your gloves. Yeah, way back way back then. It's hard to believe the season's, you know, coming to an end already. But First uh, and 10 South, ball on the 46. But they, the boys up front better block. Oh, somebody coming in late. Mm. Bill, I think it was uh, no, Bannock. Dean. And he gets the ball. No, he doesn't get it. Taylor <laughs> keeps it, gets it up to uh, the 50-yard line. Taylor Schwartz. Nice little pickup. Four yards. South's offense has changed quite a bit this year, too. At the beginning of the year, they went with just Ray Smith in the background, or backfield. That didn't seem to work. So then they put Hoytink in as a fullback. Now he's the... The tailback, and uh, they're back to their uh, two-back set. Basically, your your eye formation. Hand off to Hoyt Tink, and a flag comes flying in in the area of holding. Right as South gets another first down. You know, I think it's a good idea by South. You're just going to try to pound some sand here, pack it in there, and uh, pound north. But uh, unfortunately, again. They hold. It's like they're talking to North. I can't imagine they would, uh, wouldn't would take the penalty. This will march them back all the way to the 39 yard line. From a first down, there's Matt, Max. They're all waving at you, coach. Yeah. Oh. Some other St. Dominic's kids, I think it was Paul in there. All the way back to the 39 year old. Oh, right. and there's Tommy Wright. Don't put him on there. <laughs> you know that kid? <laughs> to think he'll be wearing a gold jersey someday. Taylor tucks it under and trying to scramble, gets by one oh. tackler and lunges forward up over the 40 yard line. Good effort there by Taylor, banging off different uh, Raiders there. Looked like he was gonna get nothing. Got three. So I said the last few weeks he's been getting more chances to run with the football and making a lot of positive things happen. Now he's forced into a third and long situation. I have to use that arm a little bit. I know Mertz is in there now. Duquette and Lancer are going to run that triple wide receiver on this side, Marty. Third down and 13. Short straight back. Fires it deep. He's got his receiver incomplete. A little more air under that, and uh, Mertz would have had it. Yeah. Kind of throwing out a bullet again. He had beaten Hummage there. Hummage has got good closing speed, though, but uh, it could have been a big gainer, but again, just out of the outreach hands of Matt Mertz. And unfortunately for South, they're going to have to punt the ball again. All because of a hold. Jacobs again with a good snap. Hoytink's kick is away, a wobbler. Seafield comes up and makes the catch on the 30. Slips by a tackler. Then we get a flag fly, and he got it up over the 40-yard line, but it'll come back. Two penalty flags. I'll tell you what, Vanderwater had a huge block there to spring it, but somebody in the tail end away from the play had a hold, and that'll put south, or excuse me, north back to the 23. We're charting penalties tonight, Coach. That's the second one for North. No, third on, oh, third on, oh yeah, you're right. North has two, two. South has three. three. But the ones for South have just hurt them. The, the two, yeah. Both times on first downs. Raiders, instead of having it over the 40, get it back at about the 22 or 23 yard line. Marafino ducks under center. He's got a full house backfield. Ragosa now shifts out to a wing on the left side. Hey, hey, Chris, how are you doing? Congratulations on your season. Thank you. 
Rigo uh, pardon me, Jones on the inside scrambles up over the 25 to about the 28. Chris carrying on with the fans. I know. We hate it when these people stand right in front of the window and we can't see. Dave Keel here. He's <laughs> I went to Homestead High School. He's the uh, head coach at, Shibu or at Homestead High School and he's here scouting a little bit. So they're uh, number one team in the state here to watch uh, potentially if they have to play uh, Sheboygan North in the playoffs. Second down and five. Inside handoff to Ragoza. Not much going for Cesar on that play. Another hanky on the field. Oh boy. <laughs> Illegal procedure on North. We'll uh, push the ball back. Gonna remain second down. It's gonna be second down and nine. North has it, that was their third penalty of the night. So each team with three penalties. Pitch uh -oh. back to Jones, he drops it. Tries to pick it up and run with it. I think he should have just got on top of it, Chris. I don't know, I saw a North player there, number 52, Mark Robitaille jump on it and I think he did get it. You're right, I think he just kind of took off before he had it. It's gonna be third down. At the 22 now, loss of one on that play. South uh, really toughening up the defense after that first drive, Chris. They've uh, really limited North. See if North puts it up in the air. Seafelt is a out. wide receiver off to the right, Hurry and Marafino doesn't like something, and he calls a timeout. With 7.46 remaining until halftime, North on top, six to nothing. We'll be right back. Time North on top. Canes, tsunamis, wars, and earthquakes. Stories of disaster that dominate the news. But what happens after the headlines fade? I'm Lou Rawls, and I'm proud to be working with an organization that continues to help people long after the headlines fade. Church World Service helps people rebuild, recover, and put their lives back together. You can provide help and hope to people in need. Please give generously to the Church World Service. North coming out of a timeout. The situation is third down and 10 for North. They're back on their 22 yard line. There's a 7.46 remaining in the second quarter. Seafeld again splits out to the right. Thompson is in the slot on that side. Marfino back looking, steps up. Now he tucks it in, he's gonna get sacked. A lot of indecision on uh, Stefan's part. Boy, you gotta get rid of that ball. Yeah, they didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do. He didn't want to throw an interception, but I'll tell you what, when you got that backside pursuit like Andy Lancer, you better tuck it under. And fortunately for North, they uh, held onto the ball, but watch the white shirts come now. Fourth down and 12, ball spotted on the 20 yard line. And they're gonna be a coming. Whoa, high snap, kick is away. And uh, not much of a bounce that time for Van de Water and uh, South is gonna get it in great field position inside the 45 yard line at the 44. I'll tell you what, it could still happen. Well, I'll tell you the guy that's feeling the pressure is the center. He yeah. must be getting beat up in the middle. Yeah, and uh, you're right, Sheboygan South has got great field position to go to work here. You know, and that's kind of what happens. South got stopped near the, you know, and they've just been keeping North back in their territory deep, and uh, they just don't have the kicker to, you know, change the field position. 
All right, wide receivers, two wide receivers left and right. Lancer the slot on the left. Quick out to Duquette, he makes the catch, gets a block from Brunette, and then he lunges forward to about the 40 yard line. Nice block out on the wing by Travis Brunette. I like that play. You said that already. I like that play. <laughs> Ball spotted on the 39. Pick keep, up a five. Keep that one and remember it for next year. <laughs> Bannock is the up back. White Tank the deep back. Fake handoff. Schwartz keeps it, and then he's ripped down by uh, Matt Rolsey, number 35, along with uh, some of his friends. And another hanky on the field, though, Marty. Wow, this isn't any fun. Another hold. Hold on North, and uh, actually South had a little bit of a go there. You know, they're getting close to first down yardage on third down. You know, that one hurts. Uh, well, they all hurt, but uh, it's going to push them way back near the 50. Seems like just like clockwork that uh, is that Scott Witter there, I think, there? Uh, I was just going to say, just like clockwork, it seems like any time that South gets any mojo going, they get hurt by a penalty. Wow. You know, and I was watching official kind of describe it. It's like he, he's motioning like the guy tackled him. Now I don't see it or I didn't see it. And there's Coach Brixen trying to hope that that clock goes a little bit faster here in a half. That's going to be second down and 13. Lancer again in the slot, as is Duquette. North wanted a timeout, but they didn't give it to him. Quick pass to Duquette on the side. It's uh, incomplete. We're going to have a roughing penalty on Hummich, hitting Duquette after he was out of bounds. That'll, that one's going to hurt. Here you see it. Yeah, they were out of bounds on that. That was not a smart play by North. Personal foul, 15 yep. yards. That'll be an automatic first down. Well, North was trying to call timeout, Marty, and uh, the official was going to give it, but the player had already snapped, and uh, should have been an incomplete pass. But now, a penalty on North. Assist South. Well, the guy, he just walked off 16 steps. <laughs> I was counting him with him. Ay, ay, ay. Ball is going to be spotted on the 32 yard line. First and 10 north. Uh, pardon me, first and 10 south. Hoytink the lone setback. Three wide receivers off to the left. Fake handoff. Taylor Schwartz keeps it and he gets through the line of scrimmage. Gets a nice chunky yardage on that play. Big All positive the yards. Big yeah. positive. You're right, Marty. A down lot of clapping and applauding there. Down to about the 25. You don't get any. We have a garbage close by. No, no garbage. Well, there is. Oh, yeah, there is. Didn't see that, coach. Second down and three. Quick out to Lancer. He can't get it. Wow, that was could have been a big, big play. Well. Those passes, Chris, are very close to being backward laterals. I know I called one before, but uh, if I was north, any time they throw that boy and it's incomplete, I'd pick it up and run just in case. Third down and three. We're at uh, 521 in the second quarter. North on top, six to nothing. They took the opening drive, 57 yards and 10 plays to score the only touchdown of the ball game. Second back through his Hoytink, he barrels through. First down, inside the 15, or pardon me, inside the 20. Well, he put his head down and said, I'm gonna get it. Yeah, I thought he kind of bobbled at first, but then you're right, he just went through there like a bull. Pick up a seven yards by Hoytink. Makes it first and 10 south. Ball on the 18 yard line. Bannock the up back, 
Hoytink the deep back. They give it to Hoytink again. Probing the left side. Lunges forward for a couple. And uh, you know, one thing I didn't mention, Chris, but you know what happens a lot of times? You get the big team and a small team, and uh, by the third quarter, fourth quarter, that little team starts to wear out. Yep. That size just starts to uh, yep. get the best of you. That could be happening already. David Valdez, Ryan Lawrence. Second down and seven. Big handoff, Schwartz still has it, looking, he's got his receiver wide Touchdown. open, Lancer, boom! Touchdown, South. Nice play, they faked the run off to the left. Taylor got himself wide open on the rollout and hit Lancer for the easy touchdown. You watch Andy Lancer, he is wide open and there's no way you're gonna stop that big horse. Nice play by South, good, uh, good execution. That was a 15 yard scoring play. Good snap, kick is up, and good. South has the lead, seven to six, with 4.18 remaining in the second quarter. Two words for you, pop quiz. Ready? Name any funny movie, a drama, Name a mystery. And one more thing. Name the movie your kids saw today in science class. Know what really matters. Know about your kid's school. And know about your kid. Find out 100 ways to know more, do more. Back at North High School, where there you see it, South has taken the lead. Seven to six. They drove uh, 44 yards. Got the short field on the exchange of punts and uh, were able to capitalize on that. A lot of penalties on that drive too, Chris. Uh, South able to overcome a penalty that cost them a first down. Uh, South returned the favor with a 15 yard unsportsmanlike penalty that kept the drive alive for the Red Wings. North. Uh Matt Hendricks, uh, by the way, is doing the kicking. I was gonna say north and south, both had short fields, took advantage. Difference right now is an extra point. I'll tell you what, south looked real good since Hummett, that opening drive. Hummich has it on the 23, barrels forward, and he's over the 40 yard line. Good return. Uh, 412 remaining until halftime. North has it first and 10. Can't have that. <laughs> Allbach wide left, Ragoza in motion. Inside handoff to Jones, he barrels forward. Gets it up over the 45 to about the 47, a pickup of five yards. Now we'll see what North can do with it here in their last four minutes. Initial drive for them. They march down and score, but since then the South defense has really stiffened up. Again, wide receiver, Hallbach out to the left. Full house backfield for uh, North. Again, Jones up the middle, trying to barrel forward. He gets it up over the 50 down into oh, South wow. territory. Look at that spot. <laughs> I thought that was a good spot right there. I mean, it's where he yeah, I guess. went down. Pick up a four, it's gonna be third down. I just remember one. that one a couple years ago again for South. I think it was a playoff game. My gosh, and Fond Lac, South couldn't get a spot if their life depended on it. They won that game though. Yep. So quit your whining. <laughs> <laughs> Thompson in motion, fake off, hand off to him. Jones barreling forward. Gets it down to about the 43. A nice run by Nick Jones. It's been all Jones and company so far this drive. Ball spotted on the 43 yard line. Nothing fancy, just each side of the line there, just between the guard and the center.
equipment problem. No, I think it's a finger. Mark Robitaille. It's, somebody's got to go in. I don't think anybody went in for uh, North. Here comes the young man, Eric Escobar. I know uh, Coach Brixton's been real excited about the way he's been playing. Give him a ch chance here. But I'll tell you, Mark Robitaille is one of those guys that he's not the biggest, but he's sure tough in the trenches down there. Andrews and uh, Hallbach, Andrews in motion. Inside handoff to Jones. Stacked up at about the 41. And they're riding the legs of Nick Jones right now on this drive. There's 2.20 remaining in the second quarter. Second down and about eight for North. Thompson in motion, Ragoza the other back. Marafino rolling, lob pass to Ragoza. He's got it at the 20, the 10. He stepped out of bounds. No touchdown, he stepped out of bounds at about the 12 yard line. Good call by the official, you could see it. He had it though, I mean he's got a <laughs> court awareness. <laughs> yeah, all you have to do is slow back to the inside and he just kind of started heading down the field. Here Let's you'll see, see you it. See him step out of bounds, get over there. Right there, uh -huh. <laughs> the doggone official ran in our way. Well, but, uh, good call Marty because he just kind of with his outside foot to push off. Timeout south. Timeout for south with 150 remaining. It's gonna be first and 10 north on the 12 yard line. Let's keep it right here, uh, Scott. By the way, the, our crew tonight is uh, Brian Andrews on the field camera. Steve Reiner's up on top, working all alone tonight. Uh, Scott Miloff uh, spinning the dials in the truck. I'm Mike Martin along with the coach, Chris Wright, and a host of his friends standing right in front of us. Yeah. As I said, uh, Todd Reineking, who played here at North, went on to play at Oshkosh. He played when Greg DePocter played Marty. I wonder and, uh, it doesn't, doesn't look familiar. By the way, that was a 29 yard uh, pass and catch. Very well uh, pursued there. And as I said, Todd's now a coach down at Homestead, the number one ranked division one team. And they got a nice club. They've been there before. They've won the championship. They've lost in the championship. Uh, uh, here to watch uh, North potential playoff like Brian opponent. Brian <laughs> showing the footprint where uh, <laughs> he went out of bounds. We believe you, Brian. <laughs> Big two minutes here, Marty. Handoff inside to Nick Jones. Into the end zone. Touchdown right up the middle. Or maybe four seconds. Uh, well, I'll tell you, they bit on the, on the play to uh, Thompson. That's what opened up the middle. They ran that earlier, North did, and uh, ran the same motion but gave it to Jones up the middle. North going for two. There you'll, you'll see, see it. it. You're Ooh. right. Good call, Marty. They bit on that, and uh, you could just see the flow of the linebackers going, and the, uh, the center just opened up there, and a nice nice drive for North. Had to counter to the south. South had kind of, I thought, kind of changed momentum and had everything going for them, stopping North. But again, good field position to start on the kickoff by Hummage's return. Set that up, and here's a two-point conversion play. Marafino second back through is... Uh Jones, I don't know if he got it or not. Yeah. North Neither guys are signaling, and now they signal no, he was stopped short. With uh, 146 remaining, boy, it didn't take North long to score, but with 146 remaining, they now lead 12 to seven. Is she thirsty or diabetic? Is he tired or arthritic? Subtle behavioral changes can be early signs of disease in pets. These changes are often less obvious in cats, which can be better than dogs at hiding illness. But a wellness exam from your veterinarian twice a year can help detect, treat, or prevent many health problems before they become serious. So call your veterinarian and schedule your pet's wellness exam today. See if we can 
find out for you later. I'll see if I can find out for you later. Back at North High School, where the Raiders have uh, picked it down the field in quick fashion there, Chris, to tie up the ball game. Let's see if South can respond. They have 146 remaining. And uh, they've got enough explode, enough weapons on offense to get it back. Short kick taken by Brunette. And he's knocked down at about the 31 or 32 yard line. I think that was that Bruckner kid again. Yvonne Buckner on the play. First and 10 for the Red Wings. What a response by North. I'll tell you what, South looked real good. And uh, all of a sudden things have changed a little bit. Ball spotted on the 32. See what Taylor Schwartz has in his back pocket. And an out pattern to uh, Lancer. Ball is knocked out of his hands and they're gonna rule it incomplete. That was close to being a fumble. Nate homage on the hit. Good idea to go to Lancer. He's a big guy on those smaller backs there, but Nate Hummage delivered the blow on the big fella. Here you'll see it. Schwartz to Lancer. Ooh. That was close. Yeah, he's got to make, what What do they say? A he's got to football move. Football like, move, right. Good, good call. Schwartz straight back. Foot slips, but he's got it. Oh, he had his receiver. Zach Duquette, Duquette's got some speed, Chris. Yep, and I'll tell you, that's a couple times today that they've gotten behind the defensive backs of North and... You know, South is, you know, that far from having some long touchdowns. You got that right. They are right there. Uh, you'd think that uh, with uh, 131 remaining, North would want to keep those receivers in front of them. Might be a good idea. Play a little smarter. Taylor Schwartz keeps it. He's going to get near the first down marker. He's knocked down. Let's see what happens. See what kind of mark he gets. I'll tell you, the guy on this side was going to give it up to about one yard less, and he stepped oh, back over. Oh, now they over. move it back. Oh, no. Oh, looks, they're up at the line, which is kind of surprising because if they don't give it, get it here, North's going to have great field position. I'm surprised they're not uh, measuring. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, why don't you just call for the measurement, then you can talk about what you want to do. It's an official timeout. Okay, Chris, do they have the first down or not? No, not after he moved it back like that. I thought he had it too, Marty. That was a great run by Taylor. You got he gave it up, boy, right at the end. He knew what he needed. Or he got it. 0 for 1 this ball game is Mr. Wright. <laughs> I thought for sure when he moved it back, they, they didn't give it to Taylor because I thought he was pretty close too, Marty. Man, one official. Yeah, I was surprised he didn't... Uh, that they didn't measure right away. All right, first down and 10 for South. Ball on the 42. There's 123 remaining, and we have a timeout by North, I believe that was. That's their second timeout. Well, I think, uh, you know, the way they scored that touchdown South did, you know, rolling uh, Taylor out to the right is a pretty good plan. We might look for some of that uh, on this drive. And uh, I like your idea, throwing it to Lancer. Yeah, hey, there's some of the South Side fans. They're way over there, so it's a little more difficult to, to get that all together. You know, I'm just thinking, you know, any breeze that comes off the lake now, they're not going to have it so bad over that side with the uh, field house standing in the way. Still be a lot colder in Madison. Or <laughs> Appleton. Really? Or La Crosse. Oshkosh. <laughs> any any place besides here. Now, when when they play the first level of the playoffs, do they go to the higher seeds team? I mean, ballpark, or is it a correct. neutral site? Correct, correct. Unless, unless they can't hold the playoff game because of their size or field, but that's pretty much a done deal. Taylor going deep to Duquette. No, Hummett steps in front and makes the interception at the 30-yard line. Great play by Nate Hummett, and I think what you said before, showed up right there closing speed and i think the timeout by north with uh trevor tagle trying to make make the statement let's not get burned deep which they've been doing here you'll see it and you know duquette that was right there but hummer and that speed got there instead 
Now it's decision time, and there you see a happy Nate Hummage. He'll play a little ball in the spring, baseball as well. You have to face that Hoytink kid. Hey, and on uh, the dive in the first base. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then uh, it'll be interesting to see here, are they gonna, you know, well, they go got a full house backfield. Hallbach is split off to the left. Are they gonna attack or just run it Marifino out? Marifino to Thompson, he's right up the middle, boom! He wrestles them forward down to the, about the 46 yard line. Now you gotta hurry. Now you got a big gainer, you only got one timeout. 17 yard gain on that play. Oh, Thompson coming up big on that run. Yeah, if he gets four yards or something like that, you're probably just gonna run out the clock, but now you can maybe go and attack a little bit. It goes in motion, inside handoff to Jones. Trying to fight forward, does a little bit, maybe two yards on the play. Clock running, we're under a minute. North doesn't look in a big hurry. Pick up a two, by the way. That was the eighth, ninth carry of the quarter for uh, Jones. They've really given him the ball quite a bit. They're gonna be throwing here, though. They'll be throwing on this one. Look for Ragoza. he's on the wing left. Thompson the deep back. A lot of time clicking off the clock. Pitch out to Thompson, gets a block, cuts it up inside, and wrestle down at about the 45 of South. 19 seconds remaining. Clock stop for the first down. No, timeout, Marty. They're gonna be a little bit short. It's gonna be third and a yard, and uh, timeout. Tell you what, you know, didn't, well, sure don't get up to the line too quickly. You know, if you wanna score, you're a long way from pay dirt here. Probably go for the first here and then throw a, have to throw some balls down the field. You're out of timeouts, so regardless, you can only stop the clock with first downs or out of bounds situations. Well, rolling Marafino out to the right would be the wide side of the field. That might not be a bad plan. We've seen uh, Alvarez break away and get some opportunities. Alvarez. Or I'm sorry, uh, Ragoza. Cesar Ragoza, I'm sorry. By the way, where is Martin Alvarez tonight? Not yep. suited up. That knucklehead. Yep, not a that's unfortunate for North. But we meant that in a good way. <laughs> All right, third down and one, 19 seconds remaining until halftime. Ragoza, wing to the left. Reverse, Ragoza got the, has the wide side of the field. Good breakdown position by uh, South to keep them. And there's a flag in the middle of the field. They're gonna get a penalty flag way downfield on North and that'll basically eliminate any chance you have for, uh, for any scoring. It's time to take a knee and uh, send out the dance team in the band. <laughs> Good point. That, that foul or that penalty was 20 yards away from the play. Why do you have to do that? I mean, you didn't even have to breathe on the guy. Penalty on North, that's their fifth of the half, which is a lot. And that was after a nice run by Ragoza. Got the ball down to about the 32. That was about a 12 yard pickup for Cesar. Does he get credit for those yards? Yep. Well, it's gonna be third down and about five. Marafino dropping back, trying to scramble. He's sacked at the 40, 50 yard line. And that's the half. Yeah! It's how you're feeling inside, keeping you from going outside. If chronic diarrhea, severe abdominal pain, or rectal bleeding are tying you to the bathroom, maybe it's serious, like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. See a gastroenterologist. Early diagnosis can make treatment easier. Get on with your life. Get help. Get better. The Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America. Dignity, hope, and one day, a cure. Contact us for a free information kit. This is my opinion. Esta. Es mi voz. Eta, muy golos. This is 
my voice. Building strong communities demands citizen participation and citizen voices. Support your city and county to protect your interests in local franchises with cable and phone companies. Build your community. Raise your voice. This is my voice. Don't take it away. Thank you. 